clear the space. Everyone out of my way. Oh. I'm a big deal. Oh, come on. Go stand in front of the TGM. How about that? The race car is more interesting. Is it not? How about I mean, you stand that is on one. To the side and he does the race car and you just do commentary. I'm not going to mess with him much because he can pick me up and move me out of the way very easily. How you doing, everybody? It is day number two at Sebring Raceway. I don't even know what day of the week it is. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is because it's race week. I'm not looking at a calendar. We're here. We're living in the moment. It is awesome. So one thing we didn't quite capture in the video from yesterday's blog was the little mishap we had. And I really don't want to talk about this too much because it's behind us. But uh, my teammate, Ted, had a little bit of a whoopsie-doo. And all I'm going to say about it is he wound up on his roof. That's all I'm saying. So we're not racing the car we thought we were going to race. We rolled out car number two. Ted's fine. It's OK. It really was a uh, horrible result from a very small mistake, snap of oversteer. And, uh, but when he hit the tire barrier, somehow it managed to lift the car up and over, and it landed on its roof. And he was rocking back and forth like he was a little turtle in a shell until it finally stopped. And then we had to figure out how to get him out of the car. But all's good. It was not a big wreck, just a little more damage than uh, cosmetically we can handle for race weekend. So we rolled out car number four. It's our backup car. Uh, we are fortunate enough here at Team TGM to have a backup car. And this is uh, this bad boy's ready to race. So we rolled it out this morning. And guess what? This bad boy was fast. I'm talking. This bad boy was P1. I so much used the uh, famous hashtag that I used this morning called uh, what backup car because this bad boy was P1 out there until the very last lap when we got pipped by one tenth of a second. They always want to win practice and it never happens. Now we're just going to have to win the race since we didn't win practice. But uh, this car is rock solid. Our guys, uh, it was ready to go to begin with, but you know, they put in a little special sauce on it last night. It was nice to show up this morning and have a car that was so good and so fast and ready to rip. This afternoon, temperature's a little bit warmer. We lost a little bit of our special sauce. We weren't quite as fast. I think we wound up around P7, but we're working on our race pace right now. So we had a great day. Uh, car's outstanding. Guys are doing their thing. I'm in the way, of course. And we're ready to race. You know, we've got another 20 minute practice session in the morning tomorrow. And then Ted is going to qualify the car right after that 20 minute practice session. There's a very short break. So we're going to let Ted get warmed up, do his thing. He's going to qualify. He will start the race as per the rules. Whoever qualifies the car must start the race and uh, on the same set of tires as well. And then I'm going to get in after Ted does his stint and we're going. So we're excited. We feel like we're pretty well prepared. Not the car we were planning on racing, so maybe not all of our goodies are on this baby compared to our race car. But, you know, these are the cars we're dealt with. We're going to make the most of it and uh, bring it home some hardware. Celebrating tomorrow night whether or not we're on the top step of the podium, bottom step, or if we got to pack it up early. That is not happening. So tune in tomorrow, motorsport.com. Yet another vlog. Vlog? I don't even know how to say these things that I'm doing, but it's a video log as opposed to a web log which would be a blog there's a lot of ogging going on just watch it again tomorrow